I'm going to show you a tool that you can utilize to supplement your day trading strategy to give you extra confidence when you're going into your trades. Now, the big thing to note about what I just said, this is to supplement with your strategy. It is not to replace your strategy or to be your only strategy. You need to have a full walkthrough of what you do and have a strategy set in place. And there are very simple ones that you can do, like the five minute opening range break. It's a very simple strategy that's easy to follow and you can use the program that I built called Quant Crawler to supplement your decisions and give you technical analysis if you don't want to analyze it yourself quickly to help give you added confidence when you're in a trade. So this website right here is a tool that I built called Quant Crawler. It originally started on ChatGPT over here, and I built it as a GPT to utilize just to help with technical analysis of charts. You upload a 15 minute, a five minute, and a one minute chart, and it gives you from what it can see in that time frame the technical analysis of what the chart is showing as well as an expected direction whether it's going long or short it gives you an entry point a stop loss a take profit and it just helps guide you again it's not meant to replace your strategy but it is meant to help build confidence and maybe call out things that you are missing on the chart or reaffirming what you already know so there are two ways you can access this you come to quantcrawler.com you can sign up for a 30-day free trial. You can learn more. You can see here on YouTube, we have over 6,500 subscribers. We have almost a half a million views in under 30 days. You can subscribe right here if you're not, but you're watching this on YouTube, so hopefully you're already subscribed. And then right here, you can see that it has a multi-time frame analysis, 15, 5, and 1. We also have a 1-day, 4-hour, and 1-hour, and then a 4-hour, 1-hour, and 30-minute time frame that you can select. It gives you entry points, instant results, multiple trading styles right here like I was just referencing to give you different time frames. You can switch between futures, forex, and crypto without changing tools or subscriptions. It's all in the interface which I will show you as well as you can set your own risk to reward settings if you want to. You can watch this video right here which is also here on my channel where I'm explaining exactly how I upload my charts, how I utilize everything. We're going to go through that here today as well but I made this video. I went through it analyzed the trade. If I would have taken that trade, I would have made $1,000, but I back tested it after I was done editing and we would have hit for $1,000. You can come here, you get it free for 30 days, then it's $10 a month. You can get a free 30 day trial and then go from there. If you don't wanna do that and you're like, hey, I'd rather just use the GPT version, all you need to do is come over to my website, which is aaronandai.com, click this quant crawler tab right here, and then when you click Quant Crawler, it pulls you into this right here where I, again, call the website Quant Crawler Pro. QuantCrawler.com will always be better and more superior than this one because on here I have frameworks, I have restrictions and limitations to get the data output we want. When you're on here, you're getting what ChatGPT decides to give you. This does have a very custom prompt built into it, but the consistency is just not quite there. But some people like this better, some people like the website. To use this one here on ChatGPT, you have to have a $20 a month membership. So if you don't want to do that just to have this, you can get a 30-day trial and then $10 a month, which is half the cost of ChatGPT+. So with all of that being said, let me show you how both of these work. When you're on quantcrawler.com, you sign up, or if you're already a member, you just click this login button right here. It then brings you to a login screen, and you simply log in. Once you get here, you will see this disclaimer, and you just click continue. Then... At the very top left, you have a futures tab, you have a forex tab, and you have a crypto tab. They are all different colors, so you clearly know which one you're on. But for this one, we're just going to do futures. When you are done with an analysis, you can click new analysis here to start a new chat. You can click this button to go directly to our Discord and join the community. There's over 1,400 people in there now. And then this button right here, I'm not going to click it because it immediately pulls up Stripe, which is where you can access your membership and your billing details and things like that. And I, of course, don't want to have that out for everybody to see for myself personally because I have a membership. If you want to change your time frame down here at the very bottom, you just click time frame analysis. Now, when I click this, you're not going to see it um, on the screen because the drop downs don't show up with my overlays in OBS where I'm recording this, but I will upload. Um, actually, right now you are seeing what it looks like when you click this button down here. So here's what you would do. You want to have your one minute, five minute and 15 minute time frames, and you want to start with your 15 minute time frame. You want to truncate this down so you can get as much data as you can. And as what I try to do is I take whatever candle it's on here and I try to line it up 
with the actual ticker over here on the right hand side that's moving. That way I'm squeezing as much data as I can in to this right here. Now, I will also turn off my indicators. Um, it is not programmed to take care or take indicators into account. It may skew the output that you get. Just know that. I recommend turning them off, but it's up to you. If it's too much work and you don't want to do it, then simply don't do it, but you may not get the output you want. Now that you're in here, you can come up to the camera button and you can copy image or just click Control, Shift, and S when you're in here, which is what I will do, and that takes an image of the chart. You then come to Quant Crawler and you plug it in. You started with the 15 minute, so now you go to the five. Control, Shift, S, and you paste this in here. And then you go to the one minute and do Control, Shift, and S one more time and paste it in. Now, let me remove my camera here. There's an analyze button down here in the bottom right hand corner that's blue, or you can just simply click enter and it will analyze it. You can see here, and you would have also been able to tell based on the chart that you should have went into a short. It's saying the current price is 6631, which it was at the time of the screenshots. It's saying it's 85% confident that this is going to go short. And there's strong bearish trend on the 15 minute chart and the current price failing to break above recent resistance on the five minute chart suggests further downside. Recommendation short. Now, once you have this output, it gives you three options. You get option one, single contract, wider stop with a fixed $200 risk. So one contract, $200 total targeting a one to two risk to reward. This is your entry point. This is your stop loss. This is your take profit. It's best for swing trades and volatile sessions, which we are in right now. You can do multiple contracts, gives you a tighter stop and a tighter take profit, but more risk, more reward, quicker type thing. So this is if you want to scale three contracts. And then option three right here is just showing that if you went off just chart structure and you don't use a one to two risk to reward, this is based on the resistance and support, the best setups that it's identifying at this current time, simply based on the 15 minute, five minute and one minute. Of course, if you analyze off of a one hour chart, this is not going to be exact because again, it's only going off the information you give it, which is a 15 minute, five minute and one minute chart. This is the chart structure. This actually was taken away at one point and then by massive demand from people was immediately added back in by people who don't use a one to two or one to three risk to reward how these options are set up. Now down here, you can see that the 15 and five are in alignment, lower highs and lower lows. The one minute momentum, however, shows a slight upward tick, but the overall bearish pressure remains. So it is saying the confluences between these three are two out of three time frames agree. Overall bias is bearish. This is the support level. This is the resistance level based on the five minute chart. And then this is saying enter short on a retest of the 6642 resistance level from the five minute chart. So it is advising that you wait just a little bit for a retest and see if it holds or passes. And then is what would invalidate it would be it blows right past that. So if you are a risk to reward trader and you don't want to do $200, say you want to do $1,000, you just type in 1000 here and it immediately recalculates down here at $1,000. Now, this part right here is in the framework, so this number will not update to match this. It simply is based on its original framework of kicking out the $200 risk, but the numbers are correct, and you can see here it recalculated with $1,000, and then it recalculated on $1,000 here as well. So let me just show you one more time again exactly how we run these charts. Let's go to a different ticker. Let's go to gold. We'll go to MGC. You want to truncate this down, the best you can while still keeping you know the peaks and valleys and line it up with the ticker on the right hand side again that's right over here in this section you then hit Control shift s click new analysis in quant crawler and then paste it in you then go to the five minute chart you're already lined up from the 15 Control shift s and you paste it in here and of course the same thing with the one minute Control shift s and paste it now that this has ran through, based on the 15, 5, and 1 minute, it is saying long. It has the price at 4063.9, which is right around here when we're taking screenshots. So we're close. We're not tens of dollars off, but we're right there. It's saying current price. It's seeing at 4070, which would have been right in this range with our screenshots. And the entry point, small pullback to 4063, which is actually looks like that's happening right now. So we wants us to just have a small pullback to right down here. It's 80% confident that it's going long. The price action here is the recommendation long. 
on the five minute chart suggests a potential bounce off support aligning with the slightly bullish momentum on the one minute chart. Same exact setup with the $200 risk, one to two risk to reward. Here's your points. Here's the multiple contracts, tighter stop, tighter target, but higher risk, higher reward. And then of course the chart structure, this is kind of the same thing. The 15 and five again are seeing the same thing with choppy momentum sideways, um, which is kind of to be expected with these two charts. And then on the one minute momentum is starting to pick up to the upside on the one minute chart. Here's your support, here's your resistance, and you can then reply if you want a different risk to reward. The point of this is if you're already looking at a chart, you're already analyzing it, and you just want an extra level of confirmation, you can use Quant Crawler to give you the data that you're seeking. If it's saying long, and you're saying short, it will tell you the reasons why. It will validate down here with its time frames, its confluences. It'll tell you two of three time frames agree. And then the risk, a break below the five minute support level at 4064 would invalidate the bullish setup, which means this is no longer valid. So if you pay attention to this section here, if this happens, a break below the five minute support level and it holds, you would then want to rerun this to get a new analysis. This would invalidate this whole entire output. So if day trading is something that you want to get started in and it's something that you have a semi passion for or it, you see it as your escape from your current job and your nine to five, I would love the opportunity to earn your support on quantcrawler.com. And this is exactly how you would use it. You just simply go through, you do the 15, five and one, you upload it and you wait for the output. You follow its guidance. We have people in our discord that are making thousands of dollars a day. You can join the community and talk to them. There's nothing in there where we are advertising or promoting, or you have to have our paid discord to access. Everything is free. The link is in the bio. The link is on the website. You can access it multiple different ways. And you can see every day, some people go in there, they make a hundred dollars and it completely makes their day we have people every day that are making two thousand plus dollars simply using quant crawler as additional support to their already existing trading strategy